our collective memeing has created a Grubhub cinematic universe. This is the best thing that we could have asked for. Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're looking at the rest of the Grubhub commercials featuring our, the, the cast of beloved characters from the Grubhub ad, all of which have vague names. We have just described them by the food that they consume. Look, look at them all. Aren't they just the most beautiful hollow illumination characters you've ever seen? I'm watching this compilation from Poop Bruh, one of the best names. I, this is, could you ask for anything better? I can't. This is amazing. Here we go. He looks at child. We've already talked about the deep lore of the Grubhub ad, of course. The, before, that was, a, that was a video that I've done. And then I made another meme of which it has destroyed the world. Now it's time to look at the, the, the rest of this world going by my, my, uh, my Grubhub uh, canon. Excuse me. The canon. Uh, the only canon of Grubhub. Here, let's look at this. I have yet... This is the first time I'm going to see the other commercials in this. I've only just found out that there are other commercials featuring this cast of characters. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Numerous pastas on forks. I love that. I I kind of love that picture. That's amazing. <laughs> Not to mention the bowl chair. That's, am that's also amazing. And a Cheetos pillow. That might be some kind of pasta. But that's a, it's, it looks like it's a Cheeto pillow. I want a Cheeto pillow. <laughs> and on her wall is a, a pile of noodles. She doesn't have any pictures of her family. She doesn't have any pictures of her loved ones, of any pets, just of her, her real love, noodles. She's kind of like, um, what's that character from Arms, Min Min? Where, like, her whole thing is noodle shop. She is noodles, just like this woman is noodles. Her whole life and existence is noodles and taking care of three potted plants and a tree outside that looks like it's from Mario 64. And uh, there's actually that house back there looks like it's Peach's Castle from Mario 64. In the main hub world, you know how you can't go past the mountains? Well, she's actually just on top of the mountains back there in Super Mario 64, so she could just see the trees and the, the Peach's Castle. Due to the way that the lighting works, it's a bit more purple than it is pink, but eh, what can you do? poopified. That's the watermark on the corner. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, you may not see it because my watermark will then be covering it, the automatic YouTube one. <laughs> also, her curtains look like noodles, like it's spaghetti noodles as a curtain. That's amazing. This this is, so far, I'm, I'm okay with this. I would not mind living in this noodle-related house. I like noodles and pasta and stuff. Oh, there's a different announcer. You're a new character! Yeah, the, the Smash Bros. intro. Da, 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 da. This lady, Noodle Lady. Uh, Min Min's the competition. <laughs> she's, she's here now. Even her, hold on, her outfit is spaghetti on it as well. <laughs> Alright. She, she likes spaghetti and noodles of many varieties. Her favorite food. Her ring is a golden bow tie. I want that. I want a golden bow tie ring. <laughs> That's amazing. New Grubhub, New Grubhub Plus. Oh, that's just that's just the most flattering image. Ah, <laughs> pasta. <laughs> she spins in his hat. Oh my gosh! Look at how happy she is <laughs> to update her eyes. They look like terrifying fish eyes. Why do they look so creepy? Oh, her eyes don't look right. They look like animatronic eyes. What? Are you from Five Nights at Freddy's except you have a human, you're a human outside and an endoskeleton on the inside? What are you? Also, good on the animators, though, however they animated the hair. You can see the individual hairs. So much work goes into certain details of this. It's so cool. Her hair looks fantastic, but her eyes look horrifying. Oh, how horrifying they are. My goodness. <laughs> look at her legs. <laughs> Lady, you broke your legs. <laughs> she dash. 
Her hair flies. Her hair looks like it's spontaneously combusting into fire. She has a spaghetti clock. And her lamp is a pile of noodles all twirled up like it would be on a fork. She has no knees. She, her legs are pipe cleaners. <laughs> what is... Let me see. I think there are bow ties on that... Um, what do you call it? That umbrella? And it, the, the those draped curtains, they look like tied up spaghetti or tied up bow tie as well. She just loves pasta in general. And then she does, she does a little uh, pirouette spin or something. 10.30. Is it 10.30 in the morning that she has to have her pasta? Because this... Um, I don't think it would be 10.30 at night, unless you live somewhere that's very bright pretty late at night during, like, the summer season. Mm, it's probably her just her 10.30 pasta fix. It, that seems a little bit early for lunch, and a little, a little early for pasta. Uh, it, pasta isn't typically a breakfast dish. That, that, could, that could technically be, a, like, a late breakfast, like a brunch. So she rigorously opens up the door. I'm I'm sad that the door does not look more like a noodle. Uh, I guess maybe that ridge in the center is supposed to be noodle-esque, like maybe elbow macaroni, but it looks more like an arrow from like links well, a link to the past. Oh, but her her door handle looks like it's uh, some sort of noodle instead, uh, or a candle rather. So this is Mrs. McPasta, and she's 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 very excited to see her food. He's. They should, dude. Why do you not have that covered? That should be that should be in some sort of cover. You're just giving her an open plate of pasta, are you? <laughs> Unless, yeah, that looks like it's an open plate of pasta. <laughs> oh, also, uh, the Mario universe. This is this is from a different, uh, excuse me, a uh, different angle. So Peach's castle is in the background. This is just uh, this is just the town outside, and he is clearly a toad uh, who is horribly mutated from. Pasta. There's Grubhub Plus as a little flag. I, if they don't give you a little Grubhub Plus flag when you get your delivery, that's that's false advertising right there. What if I order it just because I want the little Grubhub Plus flag? I mean, come on. Also, this guy doesn't have any um, elbows either. His arms are just noodles. He has metal arms. Like, his bones are made out of a pipe cleaner metal, and he can just bend them however he wants. Yes, that's it. This this used to be a toad. He he enters and goes, Hello! His face is melting. The red part of his cap has become most of his uniform, and they just stuck a Grubhub pin on him. Noodles. Oh, there she is. You are terrifying, even in other outfit. And that's at 1040. Are you... Did you order noodles in succession? and change your clothes. Is this the same day? I like to imagine that she ordered noodles and is changing so she looks different for wh whatever the next delivery guy is going to be. So it looks like she's not th not the same person. Like, if they try to identify her by clothes, it's going to be something different. <laughs> and it, it's just like, okay, well, it's the same address, but it's different people uh, that all look kind of similar, but eh, I guess it's different people because she doesn't want to doesn't want to admit to others just how much pasta she orders. Also, there's ramen in the background. Um, with eggs and ramen noodles. And she was sitting in a ramen bowl, actually. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Um, but it was, it was not just a noodle bowl, it was ramen specifically. But I guess you could use it for anything. She uses it for sitting. Alright, so here she is, leaning forward. I don't think that's a human physical pose that could be done in any safe way. Well, actually, no, you can do that. It, well, I mean, her leg is bent, so no, it's not physically possible. But the general pose that she's in is possible. Oh, oh! Look at that! Hold on, we must see Guy. It is the same Guy. She is. She is also excited to see Guy. She is wearing a denim shirt. He he has money powers. He's summoning money. Is that his attack? He can summon money to 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 throw at people, or maybe she gave him the money and that's his tip. Uh, I don't know. But he's now just carrying. That doesn't even look like a carry-out container. It looks like it's either an actual ceramic bowl that you would see at some sort of, like, fancy restaurant or possibly put popcorn in, or maybe it's plastic. Um, oh, no, wait, that's supposed to be a Chinese food container. Never mind, I didn't see the crease on the side at first. I thought it was just some sort of Art Deco bowl. I'm not quite sure, but this guy is just, he's just happy to have money. Thank you! 
my existence in pain as a toad. Oh, he's making money hand over fist. It's now 1048. So either these are different days, and she's just getting it around the same time. Also, the shadows look really nice from the way that the, the lighting is on there. Those shadows look really good. Um, whatever light engine they have, that's that's a really good engine. And now she's wearing pasta pants and or... No, and, you know, an Arthur shirt. It looks kind of like an Arthur Arthur Reed shirt, like from the TV, the children's TV show Arthur. Pants that are supposed to look somewhat like pasta around her legs, maybe? And more noodles. And he is just dead inside. He's just melting apart. He's just dying. This poor guy has had to run back to the numerous noodle-related shops in the same day to then come back. And even though he's getting more and more money each time from this woman, money is not uh, an issue to this woman when she wants her pasta immediately delivered. That is just a plastic container with more pasta in it. It's open. Dude, cover that. Put a cover on it. When you serve it, it's just safer that way. You don't need a cap uncovering or, or cover undoing a lid. That's the word. Lid un. You don't need a lid undoing service unless she's paying you extra for that specifically. But shouldn't like like it's easier to bring it to the table when you don't have to balance it. Or, or I guess maybe to her noodle chair. Maybe she just consumes noodles from the noodle chair instead of a table. I don't know. I I don't I don't know. Here she is on yet another day. Her face is extra terrifying. Oh, how terrifying it is. All right, so this is either the next day or yet another day in the cycle, or she has turned back time, which is the one that I would prefer to think, because now it's 10.35 again. Um, and she's opening the door once more in the same similar fashion, terrifying and creepy looking, just absolutely scary, for more noodle consumption. And and more noodles. This guy, she is single-handedly paying for his medical bills to not melt apart as the, the horrible uh, mutation of a toad that he is. There's the Grubhub bag, and he his, his legs, look at his poor legs. Oh, they're so deformed. He needs, he needs help. That's why he needs this pasta money. He carried that in the neighborhood with open meatballs. There are probably bugs that flew in just because they're around. He, he balanced this in his hands, or hand, and it is scalding hot, and he was just carrying it there. It's not in any other bag, it's just, it's just carrying it. That's not how Grubhub is supposed to deliver things, it should be in some sort of other container. Not delivered directly to you like this, that's just, that's bad food practicing, but she doesn't care. She doesn't care if there are bugs or possibly other things that had gotten in. Uh, she's just going to consume the noodles. That is all she does consume noodle that is that that's the only thing her brain knows consume noodle and make money to consume more to allow for more noodle consumption and he his his smile is just oh that his face oh his face is just it's just scary oh see look at this look at this did you see that this is um so th what happened in the last one was just another day so that or or possibly she changed and that was what happened at 10:35 and it was just shown out of order yeah, it was shown out of order. There we go. So that 1035 thing should have been a little bit earlier in the sequence because as you can see here, she has all of the food that she's keeping off to the side. She actually is ordering all this at once. This was her outfit before, the one prior to that where she got the other noodle thing. So all of these noodles she's gotten in a row, she's going to eat all of these noodles herself. She just changed her outfit for the day. I was doing that as a joke. I was hoping they would do something like this, and they did. Grubhub, overlords to the universe, how amazing you are, in which case you knew what I was thinking. Just like the child in the other Grubhub ad knew what I was, was thinking before. He, he knows of your presence. The, the Grubhub ad just goes one step further and just knows you. It knew that I would do this and improv and would have all of this to confirm my theory that she just changes the outfit because she's, she's now back in her outfit from before. So that, that shot really was out of sequence. She ordered all of those in a row. He ran back and forth to get all of those. That was all true. He, I don't know how fast he would have had to go to deliver every individual thing each time. 
he like in five minutes he delivered the first thing, ran back, r- then ran to her house, and she got changed, and and she she ordered multiple things not in one order but in multiple different orders to force him to run around multiple times because she is just that evil. <laughs> she 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 forced this guy to do multiple routes instead of getting everything all at once and then delivering it all at once. But, I mean, she paid him, so I guess it's not really evil. She just likes cruelty. Um, If she's going to pay him, she's going to make him work for it. And now to consume all of this pasta like Kirby, her mouth is going to unhinge like that horrifying Artemis Fowl scene of the guy who whose mouth becomes CGI and he just, like, tugs on his, his lower part of his jaw and it becomes huge for whatever reason. She's going to be doing that and just suck up all of the pasta. That's what she's going to do. And even the little tiny dingy um, sparkle effects, she's going to consume those as well. Oh, there he, there he is. This is, this, is, um, this is what she's either doing again. Unfortunately, we cannot see the clock from this angle. Um... And it's a little too hard to see where the, the, the timer hands are on the analog clock. Although the analog clock may or may not be correct. And the um, the clock in the back might also... The digital clock on her computer that she uses just to have the timer up? Maybe she's timing him and she has just like an Unus Honest clock just going in the background. Uh, but instead of Unus Honest, it's for pasta. Free delivery. So because she gets free delivery, she's going to make him deliver it more times than necessary. Wow. It's Mr. McSushi Man. McDude. He has a succulent plant. He kicked off his shoes onto the floor. The lighting is not bad in this room. There's a woman who is falling to her death and is about to crack her head open on the sidewalk. Uh, that's, a, what, that's what the picture is of. He's a very minimal room. He just has a... A mirror to look at himself and a clothing rack for more of his clothes. Um, he this is a guy who spends a lot of his time in the Grubhub dimension. And you can see on the lower left there that's the darkness slowly trying to creep into his room. He knows that it is not worth it to spend money on any other uh, material possessions. Only Grubhub. Grubhub is the only one to take your money. Oh look at that, ten dollars off perk. He does not have a reflection in that mirror. By the way, he uh, he is a vampire. He he has no reflection. It's just, it's just reflecting, maybe the phone, maybe the bed. That but that that blob does not look like him. I'd like to imagine he does not have a reflection. Um, the texture on his shirt is fantastic. Uh, the rest of the rest of the animation, like with his his left hand there, um, he got into a very dangerous accident and he had to have. Uh, part of his knuckles and nails removed, so he just has some stumps. And the only thing that brings him joy is sushi. He 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 put his hand into the uh, the, the horrifying black mist fog um, that was is going to consume the land, and it, it burned off his fingers, and he had to get medical attention. But he can still order from the Grubhub app. There he goes. Oh, there's the delivery dance song. He he's doing the ritual that make you want to wait, that make you want to wink. What did that guy say? Let's let's turn up pump up these jams. Parks give you deals on all the foods that make you want to wiggle. Oh, wiggle. Make you want to wiggle, not boogie. But it's the same boogie song. His face is like, I got to poop. Poop. There it goes. They broke his arm in the process of pooping on the floor there. Mm, eh. There we go. Look at that face. Look at his tongue. It's like a fish's tongue that has a parasite in it. Oh, it looks disgusting. Oh, it's terrifying. His eyes are huge. Why do their faces look so terrifying? His hands extend, uh, which is a good animation effect, mind you. Making a smear effect in CGI, that's really good. Good on the animators for making them very animated. But also, in terms of this universe, that's terrifying. His arm is a horrifying monster. He looks kind of like, um... The from Full Metal Alchemist, Lust, that's his hand, except not fully extended with the little, like, spears that she has. Uh, that, uh, s- spears, not spheres, I, that sounded pretty similar. Uh, sorry, I cannot speak. But look at his arm, it's terrifying. It's so tiny compared to the rest of his body, too. So he opens it up, there's nothing but the the white void of heaven coming for him as his world is being consumed behind him. Uh, and a singular bike from a child who has disappeared. Um, and he's, he's really considering stealing that bike to sell it for more Grubhub money. Oh, 
Look at that. He wished Grubhub to appear, and now the Grubhub has appeared. You don't even need the delivery man, so that other woman was really just cruel. Or maybe he couldn't deliver it because he was dealing with the noodle woman, so now he has to telepathically send Grubhub. And there we go, he's getting ready to enter the Grubhub dimension. This is his his story, this is his arc. This is how he entered the Grubhub dimension. Is he gonna get sushi? Oh no, this is this is a different time, so it wasn't this isn't what ha what's happening for that other commercial. And he has a tiny basketball hoop of which he throws I don't know, he doesn't seem to own a tiny basketball. Um maybe it's to throw out garbage, maybe there's a wastebasket behind him. Uh we'll just have to see. Maybe we can see from if he, if he moves. Nope, can't really see. Oh, and he's entering the Grubhub dimension. He's he's letting it consume him. He also looks like he wants to do terrible, terrible things to that sandwich. That does not it's not the, that's not a good face to have when you look at the sandwich. No, that's that's even worse. Sir, what are you doing? That no, I, I uh, sir, that sandwich is not what you think it is. Don't please just, just sandwiches are just for eating. Just eat the sandwich. Okay, good. <laughs> or maybe he's just like, ah, it's hot! And he's just screaming instead. <laughs> You're gonna take a very vigorous bite, aren't you? Oh, oh, he is making out with that sandwich. Oh, he is making out with that sandwich. Sir, you are, you should not, this, that's not the way that you, you, you enjoy food. There are many ways to enjoy food. You are enjoying this in a different way too much. Oh, that, those are, those are the faces of a man who's not just eating it for eating its sake, but getting an experience out of it. Oh, oh, sir, please don't do that to the ground. What did the ground ever do to you? No, please don't, please don't do that to the ground, sir. Please, please don't do that to the ground. Oh, oh, he's, he's very pent up. He has a lot of tension in him. Oh, dear. Oh, now he's going up the stairs. He, this is Mario universe, see? He, he, he backward long jumped up the stairs, except he, he, he fell downwards. So it was just like, oh, and he just went up the stairs. There we go. Okay, perfect. My my universe theory is confirmed. This is Grubhubville. This mountain... Uh, you know, see, look, look. Those are the mountains that I was talking about from the, the, the Super Mario 64, Peach's Castle. It's right off on the distance. Again, I didn't formulate this beforehand. I have... This is the first time I've seen these episodes. Look at that. There are mountains in the background. Peach's Castle is beyond there. Mario 64 is happening in the background. And this Grubhub town is just off to the side. Look at that. My theories were confirmed. Okay. Uh, no, it's a, a film theory. Thanks for watching. Do, 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 He plays that at the beginning of the episodes, but I'm gonna sing Science Blaster at the end of this anyway. Hooray. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a new character who's added to the mix. Da 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 da. Mr. McMustache Melted Toad. He's a melted toad, but he wants to be a civilian. He's looking up. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Grubhub? We may never know. But on the corner over there, you see the traffic light. You see the traffic pole. You see that that uh, autumn tree. Ooh, that was a weird whistle. You see that auto auto tree. Uh, <laughs> that autumn tree underneath it to the, the right of its um, trunk, that character looks like it's a me that's wearing a backward hat. Like a, a me from the Wii, or I guess on the 3DS, M-I-I. It, like, it looks like it's a me hopping around. Like it doesn't have the legs, but it has just the, the circular thing on the bottom and it's hopping around with a backwards hat. Do you guys see that too? That's what that looks like to me. Now what do you see, sir? Oh, see, look, the black mist, it's coming to consume him. It's going to destroy him. I was right, or at least at the moment I am right, about the, the, the thing. It's, it's going to destroy him. You're, gonna, you're about to witness the a death of a person unless it doesn't actually end up happening. Oh, oh no, it's just something that's going to crush him to death. Or maybe hover slightly above him? No, it, it, it crushed him to death. There we go. He's underneath that the, the Grubhub bag. Grubhub, it, it gives us life and takes life away. Grubhub is people, because it, it crushes him and then it delivers uh, food made out of the energy that was able to be absorbed from people. Um, that's how it, how it creates food. It's like Full Metal Alchemist. It, it, it creates... It, uh, it's using the energy. <laughs> it's exactly. Perfect. Uh, and, oh good, you never get to see that guy again, or at least he's not in the next shot, so it did kill him. Excellent. Now this is the secret life of pets. He uh, he loves tacos. He has a terrifying smiling taco. Why would you ever want a picture of that in your house? Scratch that. That needs to be in every single home. Then there's a sign that just says tacos, and he has a cactus. I don't even, I don't even think 
that the, the dog may the dog may not even comprehend what a taco is, but it's a, it's a it's a dog. Uh, you'd think he would be a hot dog guy because he owns a hot dog dog, and that's kind of how this universe seems to work. Oh, and he he know he knows that the mist is is going to be consuming him, uh, so he's just not moving. He's just sitting there, just letting his life waste away. He's given up on any chance of him being saved. So he's just sitting there forever. Oh, the dog has survived. It's fused with the cactus. And it's within within the cactus. Uh, the, the dog... Oh, wait, no. Okay, I thought that was just shadow and you only see the dog's head. No, you can see the rest of the dog's body. My mistake. Okay, so the dog existed. The dog just ran away to the side. Uh, so the dog is not dead. That is a good thing. Uh, now the dog is on top of him. As you can see, it's getting darker, and he's getting more of a beard. He's just waiting for the darkness to slowly consume him, um, and it's not happening just yet. And he decides uh, it, um, to just keep sitting there and not doing anything. He, th this poor man is just so so depressed. His dog has to order for him because there is no other way he'll he'll eat or move. Will the dog then deliver the food to him because he just cannot move? We may never know. Those are little stars. They're physical stars, like in the Mario universe, except this is sort of like how the, there are the power moons, which are, like, not too far away. These are power stars, but they look different. They're, they're, power, they're power glimmers. That's what they're called. And uh, you get them from ordering from Grubhub. You get... That's three stars. You can now go to uh, Grubhub Battlefield uh, to with, with, with all those stars. Look at that! Oh my gosh, I was right! He is... Th th this poor man is so depressed that he cannot move a muscle, and the dog has to get his slobbery mouth all over the food to give it to him, otherwise he will not eat. This poor man has just accepted it, and this, this, this wonderful dog is sitting by his master's side until their dying day where the the dark mist destroys them all and he is just sitting there the dark mist is coming from a, like around the house it's surrounding the house and slowly creeping in um so it gives it the maximum time to realize that there's no there's no hope unless you had grubhub magically warped into the house which is what happens in this universe cuz nobody came to deliver it um and he's just, he's stuck inside, and there's nothing to do except have the TV and him. So it's sort of like Televoid, except it's not Ian, and it's a depressed man who has given up on life and is just sitting, lying down on the couch, knowing that he will die, watching whatever mindless TV is there for him to watch. Look at that. Oh, it multiplied. Look, this dog it, it was able to make, it multiplied the loaves and fish, tacos, the, the loaves of bread that made the taco shells because all tacos are made of bread, apparently. Uh, and uh, the fish, uh, fish tacos, I guess, are made of bread. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm making all this stuff up, and it's right. <laughs> I swear I didn't see this ahead of time. <laughs> He's actually doing the Artemis Fowl thing. He's actually detaching his jaw to inhale the food. He's doing it. He's doing it. I didn't think that would happen. In the commercial, but he's doing it. He's consuming it by detaching his jaw. His whole face is sliding off his, his head. And he's eating it. By absorbing it, he multiplied the thing, and he's spitting back the the money. He's actually going to consume. Hold on, we have to see. Oh, okay. I th I thought he was going to inhale the rest of it. Oh, I, oh, I was hoping that it would all just like fly into his mouth like Kirby. Okay, so he's chewing it, but he's not. He's he, he's not even moving. He's detaching his jaw. That's how how Mal um nut nutritious his body is. That his the the. the his body used the the um the the energy that attached to the bottom part of his jaw and just completely destroyed the bones on the inside for energy so that he can detach his jaw even farther to consume the the tacos that float towards his mouth um wow wow <laughs> that's an old fridge that they've got nice looking fridge that baby that poor baby his tear ducts have a horrible condition and are just splurting out tears just uh, that that poor poor child oh my goodness he's gonna have to have some surgery but rather than using the money for surgery they're gonna be using it for grubhub absolutely it's like oh there's a problem let's ignore it by entering the grubhub dimension um 
and now to actually talk about it, good job making the cartoon crying effect in 3D. It, it, that does not look too bad. That That's actually fine. I just like to imagine that the horrifying idea of his, his tear ducts being, like, prolapsed outside of his eyes and just pouring out tears on, on, on the side like that. that is hard. It's, it's, it's a terrifying thought. So the, the child is sad. He, his eyes, um, he has the eyes of a demon. He looks kind of like, um, what was his name? From uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. He looks sort of like the, the mustache guy. I don't remember his name. Munster, Limburg. I think it was Limburg. Was it Limburg? It might have been Limburg. Uh, he looks kind of like Limburg. He looks like a mouse man. She looks like a mop. Uh, she looks like some sort of mop with things. Uh, the girl on the right with the blue hair. Um, woman McLady is just pointing her finger at the baby. Who knows? That father guy, he looks so terrifyingly, disturbingly creepy. There he is. Oh, they are terrifying. He waved his hand, and now he has a fork and knife in his hand. He has summoned the knife spirits, and now they have food. They have a whole dinner. The baby is no longer crying. The baby looks kind of like, um... You know that episode of The Simpsons where Rodney Dangerfield had been a guest star? I don't remember the guy's name. I don't remember the character's name off the top of my head. He looks like a baby version of that guy um, from from The Simpsons. Look at that baby's nose. It is so huge. He's almost like the boss baby, except he's more like that Simpsons character. Um, they're all going to consume the, the, the Grubhub food. This is a full family meal, and it's exploding. They, they don't realize that thing is going to explode in their face and destroy them all. They're just excited to see the food. That's how this parasite works. It it, it sends up a gl magical glowing orb to explode on your face, but it looks like it has very delicious food. Now, the food looks very nice, except those french fries on the side of her burger. Who stacks french fries like that? I don't know. I don't know. And it explodes off screen, but it turns out it was not lethal enough to destroy them. Um, I'm sorry, she... Her eyebrow... Why does one poke out from underneath her headband? That's that's kind of freaky. And that child is just also horribly terrifying. Also, there's a blue version of PewDiePie's dog, Maya, in chibi form, probably from Pixelings. It's a shiny Maya from Pixelings. That child, oh, your mouth. Your mouth is going to explode. This poor child does not have very long to live, unfortunately. Yeah, he's, he realizes that he's going to explode from all that, that food. He's actually having an allergic reaction to the french fries. There's not food in his mouth. It's just an allergic reaction. Uh, and then there's that dead man who's underneath the Grubhub uh, carrier who's underneath. That's how, that's where they got all their food, from the energy from that one man. Oh, this is actually a different place because now it's crushing the grass underneath. So all that grass is going to die. So that's how they make the salad, by crushing the, the grass and absorbing it into that um, Grubhub bag. I love how it's just such an uninterested... Uh, cheer for Grubhub. Grubhub. <laughs> and there's money floating down. Somebody ought to catch that. Yes, it's pregnant lady. Oh my gosh, it's pregnant McLady. And the dog, the dog from the, the guy who's just sitting there. Maybe the dog was able to be small enough to fit into the bag, jumped into the bag, and then escaped from the void covering, uh, like trying to consume their house. And look... At that, Mr. McDude Dad, Mr. McSwivel Hips, look at him, Mr. Boogeyman, they're together, or at least hugging, or at least friends. Is she pregnant with his child? That's the first thing to come to mind. Why didn't we see her in the video uh, before? Why did she enter through a different thing? Why was she not with them, unless she was in another room ordering a shake, but the shake wasn't part of their order. Maybe they're just, maybe they're dating. Maybe he had, a, maybe he lost his wife to the void and now he's dating her or possibly they got divorced and she's having another kid or maybe they're together now and living separately. I don't know. We need answers. We need answers to this. <laughs> you can't just drop you can't just drop a, a Grubhub lore like that and just not have it answered. So she's ordering from either a tablet or maybe she's just looking at a solid closed book. I don't know. Um, she she looks at it more intensely. Uh, oh, now she's happy. She's just like, because ah! 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 she, she either saw something she liked or she's just terrified of modern technology. Um, oh, it's it's Panera. She's terrified of Panera. Um, she's not excited to get a deal. She's just terrified that Panera appeared. 
Of course, clicking that has the doorbell ding-dong sound. Uh, come on, there there we go. Oh, the chant has begun. There, there it goes. The, Mr. Toad has left it on her doorstop, and when they leave it, I guess that's part of what... No, wait. Well... The other lady didn't enter the Grubhub dimension. Sometimes you you have to you have to um you have to want to go to the Grubhub dimension in order to enter it. And those other ones who just wanted the food instead of entering the dimension, she wants to go back to the dimension. So now she's doing it. And the stairs are going to be uh, entering the Grubhub dimension. What about her plants? Do her plants want to enter the Grubhub dimension? If they appear there, then that means yes. Her house matches her one pair of clothing. Wow. Well, maybe she, maybe that's, maybe she just has that as a maternity outfit, and it's like the only thing that might fit, so she wears it all the time. Unless all the characters just have one outfit in there. No, because Mr. McSushi guy just wore the same outfit, and he had a bunch of different outfits. So they really are just wearing the exact same clothes over and over again. That's the only thing that they want to wear. Maybe they're all just kind of sad and don't feel like changing their clothes anymore, or showering to get out of their clothes. Um, I didn't get to see the plants, so we can't know if they were entered the Grubhub dimension yet. I have to see. Um, uh, yes, the plants want to enter the Grubhub dimension as well. And I think they're sprouting flowers? Or maybe... No, those are just little, like... Well, maybe they might be sprouting flowers. I don't know. But they, they, entered, they entered the Grubhub dimension. Oh, she's able to have a, a Panera pizza. Does anybody else live with her, or is she going to eat an entire pizza herself? Maybe that isn't a baby. You you don't you don't you never know. Oh, she just very violently consumes that bite of of pizza, but she's she's very happy about it at least. Look at that face. That's a pleasant face. She's the least scary in this pose that I've seen of of some people, I guess. Oh, there's the back of her her shoe on the the disco dance floor. Oh, look at those slippers. Look at those fluffy slippers. Those are nice. I want slippers like that. I I th those are nice. All right, so she is moonwalking. The Grubhub dimension allows you to moonwalk. She, she was able to bring in a lot of her house into the dimension, or at least maybe you can do that at, to start before you enter the other part of the world. Um, oh, she's now just broken her legs and all physics. She doesn't have a food-themed house. She has lamp and picture, and maybe those are two lumps by the night sky that look next to the Coca-Cola logo. Um, maybe that's her and um, Swivel Hip McBoogie Dad. So here she goes. She's very slowly moonwalking backwards even more, even more, even more. There she goes. She's looking to the back to make sure that she's not bumping into anything, which is a, a pretty wise idea. Oh, no, that's a cactus and a, and a stream. It's not the Coca-Cola logo. I saw the first two tops of that part of the cactus. I thought it might have just been lumps representing her and Boogie McDad. All right. So she keeps... Um, backwards drifting, but she, she doesn't want to make sure that she, she bumps into anything, or maybe anyone. Who knows where she is? Maybe this is what... No, this is a different thing, because she ordered the drink before. So... Try new flatbread. No. So she just slid off frame. And that's all we get to know. That's all we get to know of her existence. That she's, she's kind of cautious, that she doesn't back, back up into anything. Unlike mi the, the Mr. Sushi guy, who was... Um, Having too much of a, too much of a uh, of an eighteen plus experience with that sandwich, and then also did the Mario backwards long jump up the stairs, but on like he 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 slid up the stairs, but backwards. It's backwards long jump, but he was in the Mario jumping forward slide animation. That's what he was doing. That's the power that he channeled. Um, and there's a pizza, like what Mario says in the Mario Brothers Super Show, pizza. He probably said that at some point during the show. I don't know where, but I know that Mario must have talked about pizza at some point. And uh, that's it. There we go. Mysteries of the Grove Hub. Look at that. Mysteries of the Grove Hub thing. And th there are two videos pointing out what I pointed out there. Where it's like, excuse me, she's with the dad? We need to know this, Grove Hub. We need, we need answers. <laughs> the next ad has to, has to show. Are they together? What's happening? What's the story? How is this going? We There are too many questions that are not answered. Are they going to get together? Are they going to be a happy couple? I hope that they have some sort of conclusion. Maybe, maybe even we'll have Grubhub ads 
that will show them, like, in the background, like, we'll have somebody else, and then they'll be on, like, a date, and then maybe in another ad, it'll be like, Grubhub can even, like, uh, deliver for your wedding, and then it'll be a wedding between both of them, or show their wedding if they were already married, or maybe they will get married, and the, the Grubhub child with the scary eyes will be the flower boy and ring bearer, he'll put the thing on his head, because he's the only child who I recognize, no, 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 he'll be the flower girl, and the dog will be the ring bearer, perfect, yes, we need that, and, um, they'll go down, they'll go down the aisle, and, um, they're going to, they're, they're going to, um, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna tie the knot, and we're gonna get to witness the Grubhub, uh, marriage of the ceremony, uh, of the century, the, the ceremony of the century, those are the words that I wanted to say. Also, green guy with two threes as E's has the skull over the child's face. Could the child be dead? Game theory. Oh, there's a ranking the Grubhub ads worst to best. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, that's my compilation. Hey, my compilation is in here. Oh, sweet. I didn't expect to see that. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, good. He is watching it. Yeah, the dark truth behind it. Yep, you gotta see. We've made it even worse. Oh, amazing. The Kroger ad iceberg. That's right. I've seen there is an ad for Kroger that was reminiscent of this. Maybe I should react to that as well. Ooh. You know what? You don't get a say. I'm doing Kroger ad. I'm going to react to the Kroger ad, and you're going to get that as an episode. That's going to be the next one. That's going to be the next reaction episode, or the deep lore of it. I don't know. Um, I th I think I've seen the whole thing, or the main thing. I don't know if there's an extended version of it. Um, but you're going to get that from me. You're going to get that. Th that's what's going to happen. Um, so thank you very much, Mr. Poop Man, uh, po Poopified, who has made this uh, compilation. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is very, very informative, very useful. Um, the world needed this. Uh, I'm going to leave you there, friends, but I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, and this is Handington, signing off. Bye!